My name is Danny Dagger. I'm the CIO of Bank Audi, based in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, bank Audi is a regional, is a, is a leading regional bank. With the, so we're the number one, number one commercial and universal bank in Lebanon. And at the same time, we're quite sizable in Egypt, in Turkey. We just started in Turkey, so we got the first foreign bank license in Turkey since 12 years. We're also present in Saudi Arabia and Abu Dhabi, and we have a good presence in France, Switzerland, and Qatar, and Jordan which gives us one of the widest footprints in the region. So about two years ago, after launching a transformation program in technology, uh, I was asked to go and take over the CIO position. So we had a couple of requests, and one of them was that we don't approach it from an IT perspective, from a budget perspective. So I had an open, not, I wouldn't say an open budget, but we didn't have any constraints into, in terms of how we need to fix this. So we, we approach it from a business budget perspective to enable the bank to grow and to enable the bank uh, to go through the challenges in terms of uh, you know, Basel III requirements, all the regulatory requirements, compliance and pressure on our profit margins and pressure on the business itself. So we successfully, and I think we successfully put IT and technology as one of the four pillars uh, for our future journey. So besides three large business lines, technology was uh, a fourth pillar. The one thing I wanted and that comes from my background is we're gonna look for the best partners. It was an easy thing because uh, uh, they knew what we were going after so that's what that was one of the major reasons why we were comfortable with VMware. We did not have to explain the vision so it's, it was like talking to someone who knew what my problems were. My mandate was to bridge the gap so I never I never wanted to have the gap between business and IT and I call it uh, a black box so whenever I was on the business side and people would ask us questions of launching a product or do anything the whole IT process was a black box uh, so in a sense the advisory services team helped us tremendously because we didn't have to explain to them how to meet those objectives and what our objectives were so business agility the, the ability to grow the business without worrying about infrastructure so the whole concept of building an infrastructure that becomes just a tool and part of the uh, the, the, the overall uh, architecture of the bank is what helped us what sets us apart in our discussions with advisory is that they understood our vision in a sense that the end goal is not to build the infrastructure so our end goal is not to automate and manage the end goal is just to make this one box so you get the request, it's provisioned, it's built, and for us, it's not a black box, it's a transparent box, but no, we don't need to worry about it. So from a business perspective, whatever you want to do should be easy. The business lines have requirements. So our job as IT is to channel those requirements, whether we service them internally or externally, which goes to, I think, other components of VMware's strategy, so beyond the software-defined data center, it goes to the hybrid cloud and the end-user computing and mobility. Uh, it speaks this the fact that those are the three big components of VMware strategy explained to us repeatedly by the advisory team makes us more comfortable that this is the right partner for the future because that's how we see the role of IT so we want to be a service broker we want to uh, compete with whoever wants to provide business to our internal customers and external customers and uh, hopefully we will win in terms of tangible results, yeah, I mean, we're running a huge transformation program. Uh, so we started seeing that initially in terms of savings uh, from a CAPEX perspective of millions of dollars, even before we finalized phase one. So we're very proud and we're very committed to uh, launching phase two very, very soon, hopefully. We definitely feel that uh, we have a trusted relationship with VMware to build on, uh, to start and build a long-term journey to build a bank that we want to see, so the new bank that we're aspiring to build. From a time perspective, it's, it's a joint journey. So we had requirements in terms of timing that we not imposed, but we asked VMware to stick to because we are very proud of our own team. So we believe that our team can also deliver with them. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a teamwork between Bank Audi's team and VMware. Uh, we work together on, on defining a time frame, and we've been sticking to the time frame extremely well. Uh, so we get compliments from both ways. So we compliment sometimes the, v the VMware team that you're doing a great job. And in return, funnily enough, because we run hundreds of projects, 
Uh, the VMware team always compliments our, you know, the professionalism of our team because it's the first time we do it. It's the first time that's being done in our part of the world to build this private cloud and we have strong legacy problems. Uh, so it's a, it's a teamwork that we're very proud of.